Hey, what is up you guys? My name is Taylor and today we are filming a video and in today's video I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to dress all with strict parents. I do want to put a little disclaimer uh, There are timestamps in the description if you want to skip So one of the biggest things I thought about with this video is if you are in a situation where like pushing the boundaries or the rules could lead to worse consequences or you put yourself in a dangerous position this isn't the best idea your safety is the number one priority not what you wear so if you think really pushing the boundaries or like doing anything to disturb that that could put you in immediate danger please don't do it i have links in the description about like who you can call about these situations or if you're feeling a certain way in these situations they will be the first parts of the description so with that disclaimer out of the way i'm gonna get into the whole video of how you the first piece of advice i have is for you to lean away from just wearing black i think earth tones are pretty cute you can have a cute alternative outfit and have it just be earth tones like brown and green and everything dark purples dark blues where it's black but it's not really one of the things i recommend is a signature black and like another color and like that's your signature color pattern you can do black and red black and white black and like pink black and neon green so your outfit's not entirely black patterns are such a big thing people can pay attention to that will work in the alternative area plaid is a huge one stripes checkered print roses i think can be super cute and super well done medieval patterns you can always look those up and then you can always look for clothes from like medieval dress wear spider webs and argyle print texture wise lace mesh velvet and like crochet like crocheted stuff let's get into what you can wear when you have stricter parents the first thing i recommend is just owning a staple black jacket whether it's just like a cotton jacket a leather jacket like a black denim jacket or a black hoodie i mean black hoodies also work which you can literally add patches and stuff and customize too or one thing i really like is those striped jackets the typical skater jackets they're so cool and it also comes in tons of colors what's so cute and like a style i love is oversized anything oversized sweaters and like oversized button-ups literally cover everything the jacket i was talking about earlier get it oversized because it'll last you longer oversized band shirts oversized flannels cardigans literally you can get mesh cardigans and like knitted cardigans something else you can wear are vests you can buy sweater vests leather vests denim vests. you can get cropped ones or full-sized ones there's so many different kinds of vests and while on that topic, the biggest advice I have, layering, will be your best friend. You can always layer like lace tank tops, a spaghetti strap tank top over a t-shirt. You can also wear like those striped undershirts or just cut like patterned leggings and you can wear them as undershirts. You can always do a crop top, like a pretty crop top with a top under it lean for stuff with like wednesday adams collars peter pan collars your best options pants wise jeans like i've literally seen baggy jeans work skinny jeans the flare jeans i've seen corduroy pants work so any pants styled correctly could be alternative and i think what's really good about denim is you can make your own patches and attach them or another option you can also paint denim and for skirts wise i think pleated skirts are super cute and you can always add cute little tights underneath or maxi skirts but also like peasant skirts you can have a couple different shoes that can work you can wear converse you can wear vans have a staple pair of like black combat boots because those are gonna last you forever and will go with any outfit another thing i recommend is small removable accessories especially when you have stricter parents because then they won't really keep track of them like you know those little pins from hot topic those you can perfectly attach them on your backpack take them off your backpack when you get home if anything safety pins you can also easily put them in and remove them on outfits fingerless gloves are super cute and again easily removable rings rings can easily be put on and taken off and you can get super cute super cheap rings anywhere online i do say to try to shop sustainably but you can also make rings yourself which diy will be your best friend especially with stricter parents 
Candy bracelet are a really big one because literally you can buy the stuff at Walmart It's just the beads and the stretchy cords So your parents aren't gonna really think it's like an alternative thing But it also can be a super cute way to get the letters and make band merch ties You can easily put on and remove ties brooches You can find them at thrift stores and stuff or you can make your own like brooches to wear and put on your outfit out of clay and safety pins Fun hats are also such a good accessory option because I never even thought about it till I was like looking at outfits more and I was like oh my god a lot of alternative people have super cute hats and I would like to end this video off on the styles and aesthetics I recommend for people with strict parents now this took a lot of thinking but what I started leaning more towards was like whimsical and like grunge so here are the terms that you can search that would work and you can find inspiration outfits for fairy grunge obviously such a good start again leans more towards earth tones flowy skirts perfect can be like layering super super cute 90s grunge but i will say guys with grunge be aware of the subculture and like research into the music dark academia because that's more business wise and it's more like work appropriate goblin core again works with fairy core but i know those can go like overhand but they also have like their own differences whimsy goth i know whimsy goth is like a pretty popular thing now on tiktok and i've started seeing videos of it and i think it's so cute but again it's like the whimsical with hints of goth like it's not a hundred percent you're dark and you're doing all this makeup like no it's whimsy goth and another search term that i think could work is twilight core now i know a lot of people aren't going to be twilight fans but i think twilight core has some elements especially with like the layering and like alice cullen's outfits where it has a pinch of alternative but it doesn't push the envelope thank you guys so much for watching i genuinely hope this video helped you and i hope everyone will be able to find and take away something from this video but if you guys want to see my life outside of youtube i'm pretty active on both instagram and tiktok i will see you guys next time all right i don't know why i did that but i love you guys so much bye Crazy, I'm not